Hi guys, today is the first day of the 52 card challenge that I'm doing. We're using all forms of cards, flashcards, time cards, postcards, library cards, playing cards, you get the idea. So each week I'm gonna use one or more of these type of cards. I'm gonna alter them, make stuff for them for our journals. This week is flashcards. I am currently creating a dressmaker journal. So I'm making dresses out of these vintage flashcards. I don't mind if it, you can't tell that it's a flashcard. So go ahead and pick up a piece of scrapbook paper or some cardstock and you can play along with me if you don't have flashcards. The back you can tell is a flashcard. Um, this particular one, I decorated the back, so I will be putting it on a page with a clip. That way I'm going to clip it on, oops, there you go, clip it onto the page and stick something in behind it, be able to take it out. I might even add a wire hanger to put on the top of that. I think it's super cute and you just need fabric, fabric scraps, three forms of paper that I used here and a napkin, rice paper, whatever works. There's a little shimmer spray in there as well. It is to make it yourself, make it your own, make it for what you need to use it for. We're gonna set this aside. Let me go over the supplies really quick. I used a template. You are going to be making a template today if you like. I made it easy with a two inch round punch, a one and a quarter inch round punch as well. Use what you have. You can make it for the neckline and for the arms and you will get the idea once we start. Of course, your flash card, this is roughly eight and a half by two and three quarters inch wide. Go ahead and make yourself one. You can trim it down to whatever size you need for your particular journal or project. Now for the papers that I used, I used a piece of a digital of a lace print. You can use fabric, a little harder to punch through. I'm not gonna lie. Now I've used um, coffee, coffee dyed paper that has a pattern on it, works great. Whatever pattern you want for the top of your dress. Great way to use up some scraps, great way to use uh, um, you know, off cuts of scrapbook paper or what have you. Here is a piece of music paper that I have glued on here. It's just a music sheet, vintage, doesn't matter. Now, just remember, it doesn't make a difference if you go a little too low on your paper. It's not gonna make a difference. You put the band wherever you want it to be. And when I say band, I mean this. So yes, the cuts are gonna determine sort of the waistline, but once you get decorating, you can put the band and cover up any mistakes that you like. Okay, so for the bottom piece here, I this is my, um, I just love the way that when you put napkin or rice paper over this, you're gonna be able to see whatever is coming through that paper. And I just love that, that you know the print is a little bit darker for like the black print so you could see it a, a little better so glue these on like so and let me glue on this bottom piece now you're going to need some some wipes next to you and if you're like me i forget and put don't put my cap on my art glitter glue <laughs> so i'm just going to glue these down and i work on deli sheets most of the time you can get a whole box of them on Amazon for a really good price. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to round your edges, or if you have a rounder, a cutter, even your, your punches would work as well. So I'm just going to put my music paper down here, and I'm going to put my scrap or off cut of my book page, a little French there glue those down now it might be too wet to do this part but let me get grab my scissors of course they're never around when you need them I don't dare use my cutter base for that but you're just going to basically take take it you want it to be dry as best you can. Just trim out the edges. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna be adding lace or fabric or whatever you have that you're gonna be using. Everybody has their own style. We will be making more things and more things with the flashcards. I've got 52 weeks to fill up the slots. 
I've got lots of ideas. Um, so here is my punch or my rounder. And I'm just gonna go around and make sure that I have rounded edges. And there we go. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're covering this up. Now, I'm not going to use anything dark like this because once it does dry, you're not going to be able to see through it. But what I have used, let me go to my next step here, is just a piece of rice paper. I just used Mod Podge, and I have it, this card a little bit offset. Let me, let me go back a step. So, I find the form I want, and once you create your forms, it's, it's super easy to use. I want to use this form. I set it on here, use my pencil, line it up, and just trace little circles. Now, I would trace it a little bit more, you know, a little more if I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut it out. But you see the lines here. I'm just going to take my punch. I want the opening facing me. I'm going to line it up where the lines are. I'm going to go just below it. Punch out that top like so. And go on this side and do the same thing. Now, I have the one and a half, one and a quarter inch round punch because, I'm trying to get straight here, because this template here is using my two inch up here and the one and a quarter for the sides. So, but for this one, I wanted more of a waist here. And then I just take my, my sharper little cutter these scissors and just go over it and round the edges. Just taking off some of that sharpness. You can use sandpaper. I use sandpaper a lot in what I, what I do. This side is a little, little off kilter, but that's okay. Shape it the best you can. You are going to be covering up a lot of it. Just remember that. So a little imperfect, pretty perfect to me. Okay, so that's what you're going to have. You have you have your form here. Okay? So, I took this. And you can put just regular die cuts over it, like florals. Sorry, I didn't have my piece ready. This is just a, an off cut or a piece of a napkin that I used. This was, these napkins were gifted to me. Just get your Mod Podge and put it down. I wanted to try to do this in parts because I don't want it to be a super long video for everybody. And my internet's not the greatest. So, I want this to be an easy project. So you're going to get that down like that. Put another coat of your Mod Podge on top of that. You don't need much. You don't need to push hard. Just gently go over it like this. I use some mica spray. And you see already, just having it down, how you can see the print coming through. I just love that so much. And it just gives it a nice look. So I'm going to put that aside. And you can use all kinds of sprays. Sorry, I'm away from the from my camera. And just some Distress Mica. I have some Mica by Nuvo. And this is the color that I'm sure I'll use for my shimmer. Just a touch of it. I'm going to take my ink. And I'm going to use some Catherine Poole ink. And I'm going to ink up the sides, ink up the top. And then we go to the next step. So this is what it looks like when it's nice and dry. Make sure I'm in camera. Nice shimmer. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but a nice little gold shimmer to that. And then that's the decorating part. 
Now this one, as you see, is a little off center. I did that because I want to bring up the tissue paper or the fabric or whatever, eventually going up and make it like a side view and make it off center. Now I have made some paper dolls out of and used flashcards. I do have them on, t I think on the front of a journal. It's a very old video, but you can look for it here. Um, I, it's sort of that. We're going to make some paper dolls with flashcards in another week, but I just love this idea. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, here's another one that I have gotten into the stage of after the tissue paper. Now, I wanted this real full. I have some more gluing to do, but if you scrunch up your tissue paper and it gives it that that big dress look, and I really liked it. I have to finish with the trim. So this is a good way to use up your lace off pieces and your little scraps. And you can put, see how I can put lace trim on there. I've also just put scrunched up some paper in the back. Now I'm going to be adhering this to the page. The other one was gonna be clipped on. This one I'm adhering directly to the page probably going to use a little tuck up here, a little space that I'm not going to glue down, and I'll use it like that. But I thought that's really pretty. It's a dressmaker's um, journal, so I think it's going to go well. I'll finish tweaking this. I'll put up pictures in the community tab. But let me show you first how I did the sides. So for this one, I'm going to use some just some regular tissue paper. Let me grab, grab the right one. Just cream color. And I have some cheesecloth here that I thought would be super fun to use. And all I did was take some tissue paper, everybody's got tissue paper, right? And just make some strips like so make them long okay you don't have to be perfect you're going to be scrunching you're going to be trimming okay so i'm just going to scrunch this way almost making like a blind, a fold that's, there we go, like this. And so once I glue it, right, it's going to look like that. So let's just glue a side, and I'll show you real quick. Now, I like my edges, not the edge here. I'm going to put some glue here. But the area where the peak is, peekaboo, so you can see what's underneath it, I like that edge to be open and not so glued down. I mean, you want it kind of flat because you're, you're putting it in a journal, but I really don't like edges that are super flat and straight and sturdy. But if you can see where you would get that, that peekaboo. Now let me go this way. So then when I go to fold it, be, it behind, I'm going to make this angle further out, like this. So it had that little extra piece there. And then the next side. I'm going to cut a rough angle here. And do the same thing. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it up. Pinching it with my fingers as I go. And that's the good thing about Fabri-Tac. It does give you a little bit of time. So then when I fold this, I'm going to determine how wide I want my dress. And you get the idea. And then for the for the back, if I want to train, I would put some, some stuff back here. Especially if I'm just going to glue this side. So you don't have to be too particular on this part, but here, and you get the idea. You could also use some cheesecloth, 
and lace to decorate it even more. Now I have a piece here. Where did it go? Here, I'll show you on this one. Oh, here it goes. That it was cheesecloth, and if you pull the stitches, you can get it to, to gather. And I really I looked at that and I saw it and I pulled it a little bit more. And I can widen it a little bit here. So if I turn it over after that is glued, if I was going to keep this side open, because obviously I'd want it to be seen, I just think that looks really good. You could either do that or you can, because your edges are open, remember, just put it down here a little bit. So just the top of that rice paper is showing. Now I get my rice papers from ASC Supplies on Etsy and I really like the variety and the cost and um, I'm not affiliated or design team or anything like that I just like sharing where I get some things from so you can see how you could decorate it like that now let's stick let's do one little thing more now you use your laces Now I'm going to put, um, let me see, I have this one. Let's see, what one would I want to do? Let's, let's put some lace down. How much time do we have? Okay, just a few minutes. Some lace down here. I like to do it in layers, so one's going to be a little bit longer. But the same thing this is open still I don't close it until I know that I'm you know happy with everything that I put on there I'm not going to do that if I don't move it and then stack another piece like so now not every week is going to be you know, a bigger project. I, I consider this a bigger project if I have to, you know, go longer than 15 minutes or so. But you get the idea. And then even if you look at the video that I have for flowers, easy flowers, I'm, <laughs> you can either use the flowers like I've used. They're just mulberry flowers and I get them from ASC as well. Just these little flowers, these little paper flowers. I mean, I love the look, it's great. But if you don't wanna go for that, even if you wanted it more grungy, I just pinch in the middle of a square of tissue. And honestly, I'm a fly by the seat of your pants type, type of girl. <laughs> and I just make flowers, you know, if I want it smaller, maybe break this in half and make a, round it up a little bit and just play with it until I get it to where I like it and what I would do is probably put something like that on this get a piece of an applique maybe and put it and then make a band so these are so much fun to play with I will put this finished product um, this finished piece as long as, and, and this one, because I'm almost done tweaking it, I've just gathered fabric and tissue paper together for this. So I'm using the two elements. I will tweak these two and put them on my community page. I also am on um, Junk Journals, Grandma with Love. And I, do, I did post the challenge um, on there. So if you want to show me what you have made, I'm going to lose this shawl before I know it. It kind of reminds me of um, the old Cary Grant movie. Was it, was it the grandma's shawl? What was that? Isn't it fair to remember? <laughs> something? I don't know. Or Little Women or something like that. But I just thought that was really pretty. And I like how these are going. And I hope that this has inspired you to try it. 
and try to make one and have fun with it. And I will see you next week. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.